We found through many, many discussions and uh, through coaching with lots of our clients that the person that is most likely to cause a situation where you're writing off time and therefore losing money is actually you, the owner, because there was no documented system in place in the business so that when people ring up, you follow a set set of steps, which allows you the time and gives you the ability to filter out the estimates that you should actually be putting back to customers. So if you're the biggest problem, then that obviously means that we need to do the most amount of work here to rectify the problem with you. So we need to start with a system and that system starts with you taking uh, the process that you would use for doing estimates. And let's face it, most of you are calling this quoting um, and you shouldn't, you should be calling it estimating. So we need to take those steps that you follow like clockwork without even thinking twice about it. We need to get those out of your mind and we need to get those down on paper. The first reason that we need to do that is because what happens if you're unable to talk, come to the workshop and no one can find you tomorrow? How's the business gonna keep going the way you would like it to go if we don't have things written down? The second reason is because we wanna be able to train somebody in this system that we're gonna get out of your head and improve so that we get the profit result that we want. So at the moment, you just run off a process in your mind because you've been doing it for the last five, 10, 15, 20 years. But what we need to have a think about is where in the process that you have are you going wrong? And it's most likely going to be that you rush estimating because of all the other things that you're juggling at the time. So when you take a phone call or you're um, asked to come to the phone to give an estimate, what's going on in the background is other customers coming in and out. Uh, you might have stopped your own job out on the workshop floor or you've got technicians out on the workshop floor and you know there might be a spot fire for you to put out out there. So there's all this other stuff going on and you don't have a clear mind to put the most accurate estimate back to the customer. So you rush it and that means you don't allow enough time or you just remember the price you charged that last time you did that same job. Now, that job could have had poor margins on it the last time you did it, so you're just repeating the process again. So what we need you to do is actually slow down so that you can sell properly. So your first step in this is to write down what you would normally do so that we can identify where the issues actually lie. And like I just said, most of the time it's because there's so many distractions for you going on, you don't allow enough time to do it properly. No matter what you believe, you don't have to be the one doing the estimating. Just because the customer asks for you, that doesn't mean that you have to do it. If we train somebody up that has the understanding that we need them to have, they can take over this for you. And because they're not emotionally attached to uh, the outcome, they will charge what the job is worth, provided you empower them to do that, of course, because you are emotionally attached. And we find that once we get owners away from estimating, away from invoicing, then the business profit margins start to improve. So is what I've talked about today relevant for you?